Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Colorado Buffaloes went to Arizona and found out how hot it really is. They end up pulling out a win with a late field goal. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get right into it. The Good. All right, before we get started, like I always say, these videos have been demonetized due to the footage that we use. The only thing I'm asking is that you go ahead and subscribe, share, and like because we are on the road to 37,000 subscribers, as well as check out our sponsor today, interstatesportsgifts.com. The information is in the description for all of your sports memorabilia needs. Let's get this thing rock and rolling. Let's see what they're talking about over here, Colorado versus Arizona State. Start this deal off here, third and four, 828 in the first quarter. This is the good. Let's see how Colorado fares up. Can they get off the football field? Little rollout deal here. Great breakup, right? You got to say, hey, man, great breakup. I will say the quarterback may have had opportunity to run it, but he had a guy chasing him down. But what I love about this is look at the impact. Mm. Gave him the business right there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. First and 10, 705 in the first. Shador gets the ball. Has to make a decision. Let's ride. Gives the ball off here, number nine, or straight up the gut. Let's look at the blocking on this, right? Because we know offensive line has been an issue. But let's, let's take advantage of the blocking they get here, right? Great double team. And watch him get his hips around 55, which is allows him to climb to the next level, seal that deal off, but he cuts it back and gets vertical behind his pads. Great job right there. All right, here we go. First and 10, 549 in the first. You know, when you got two, you got a chance. Look at this throw. I mean, this guy's throwing darts out here, right? The little play action, protection is good. Got the angle, boom, right in there. Convert that thing for another first down. Fourth and eight, you gotta be able to convert this deal. You're kinda in that fringe zone right between the field goal and can't punt it. Well, guess what? Colorado goes for it on fourth and eight. They bring in the house. Look at this, they bring in everybody. Shador knows I have to get this ball out. But here's a great play call by Sean Lewis because what do they do? Match up speed against slowness. Let's pay attention to the beginning of this. They're going to bring everybody, but watch this defensive end right here. He's going to fall off, but he gets matched up with probably the fastest dude in the stadium in Dylan Edwards. And that was a foot race. Now, I do have to give this guy a little bit of credit, though. Just to get him out of bounds was amazing. But again, great play call right there by Sean Lewis, the offensive coordinator. First and 10, 351 in the first. Empty set. Empty set. What are they going to do? If you give me time, coach, I can make it happen. And this is why it's a good play. Like I say, if you give two time, he can hurt you. You're going to see right here, Mikey, love this rock right here, right? Give him a little stop where he can attach to it. And as soon as he decides to come, he's going to fire right through this vacancy. See there? Because this guy's coming here, moves him out the way. Great job. Get vertical. Get behind your pads. They thought he got in, but he didn't. He was about a yard short, two yards short as the ref marks it. Now, here's the deal. Offensively, they had some false starts and so forth. That's why I backed them up. Remember, they were only here. They end up not being third and goal from here. But that's no problem for two. Guess what? They do the little screen action. And here's the funny thing. You can tell this is a red zone play for them. They've scored on this play several times in several different games. All right? Maybe with a different running back, but the play is the same. Screen deal here. You see the guys come out. I mean, it's patient. Let them get through it. Fight through the tackle. Almost makes it. Oh, 65 crushed his own dude. And here we go, man. Look at this play right here with Weaver going around the corner. Most think guys think they're going straight up the gut, right? Should do up on the center. But here it is. 10 catches the jet from up on the center. Turns that straight in. Look at the double team right here by the D lineman. Touchdown. Second and four, 205 in the half. The score is currently 14-7. What needs to happen? Uh, we got to convert this deal. 
Look at this throw, man. Great throw, man. Great throw and catch by uh, Shadow and Jimmy Horn. But watch right here, the mismatch. Boom, he's flat foot. I'm going to catch him right now in the vacancy. Boop, before you know it, the safety's too late. He got that chopping wood. Single high, seams are always open. Always remember that. But let me see here. They got a flag. They end up having a flag on that play, uh, which actually helped them out. They end up calling roughing the passer on this guy, which gave him additional yards. All right, I guess because he drove him into the ground. But Shador's taking some hits out here. But I have to say about pass protection. All of these guys got it locked up. This, believe it or not, this is Shador's guy. He's responsible for the extra blitzer. Right, if you look at the numbers, let's look at the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, they're gonna fan this way, and Shadur is responsible for him. I mean, he has to get the ball out before he hits him. That's exactly what he does. Takes a good shot right there. Come on, get up two. All right, 102 in the second after that big penalty, third and ten. Empty set again. Man, holla at you, man. <laughs> look at that. Got the ball. My man got the ball out here like he playing, uh, like he in 707. Look, put that ball away too. I get it. Uh, hit him with the rolly because it's about that time. <laughs> hey, hit him with the rolly because it's about that time. Third and three. They got to be able to convert this deal, man. 731, third and three in the third quarter. Here's what I love about this play, man. Great play right here by two. Finding the dart. Protection is good up in here. Got to find the open guy. Guess what? Bingo. I mean, you can never question Shador's accuracy. I mean, the guy throws the ball, a, a very good ball. And always throws a very catchable ball. Third and 15, defense has to get off the field. All right. And Arizona State is up by three. Great job right here. Look at this sack right here by Bentley. Look at the speed. Look at him come through this stunt. This is him coming around here off this stunt. Boom. But look at him go get him, baby. Great job right there by 20, man. Second down, 51 seconds in the third. Here we go. Man, I'm going to holla at you. And I'm going to give you one. Skeet. Ooh, look at two trying to put in some work. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, Deuce. All right, it's second and three. Protection is good. They keep six in. It's not there. He hits the uh, eject button. But, hey, I'm not finna slide. I'm finna give you one. Mm, get some. Yes, sir. And he's talking a little trash. I hear you, baby. <laughs> fourth quarter, 1437, just at the beginning of the fourth quarter here, man. As you see, Arizona State is still up by three points. What is Colorado going to do? Man, look here. I'm going to throw this excellent, excellent switch route right here. And it's a great concept. They actually should have what they call banjo, right, which means switch off. You hear that term a lot, meaning he's going to take the outside guy. He's going to take the inside guy. So whoever declares their route outside, he'll take. Whoever comes inside, he'll take. So, But instead, they just play the straight up man. So he's here on top of him, and he's playing him. So when you see him come underneath, well, he's going to clear this deal out, and he's going to come underneath, and he's going to try to get around. And I'll show you where they could have played it probably a little different, right? A little switch concept. He should have stayed here, and he could have drove this route. But instead, gets picked off, and it's, it's over with. Look at this. Little kind of little pick concept gets in his way. Easy pass right there and catch for the touchdown for Antonio. All right, fourth and eight, man. Finally, the special team's looking a little special. They had some problems uh, in the punting game, kicking them short, slicing them, kicking them out of bounds. Wasn't looking good, but Xavier Weaver is about to get this return and give him some real life up in this joint, man. Great return by him. Look at this. Just get They just get outflanked over here. Ten turns the corner. Let's go. Let's go. And the buff stampeding down the street and get tripped up by a blade of grass. Come on, buff. All right, 10, 10 24, uh, fourth and nine. Got to give Mata his love, man, for this kick. Big time kick right here. 42 yard field goal. Kicks it down the gut. Look at this hook. Kicks it right through there, man. Great job by Mata. Loving it, man. All right, third and three, 904 in the fourth. 
Again, you got to be able to get off the field. Yes, you're up, but only by a touchdown. How do we get off the football field? <laughs> we stop the run. That's how you get off the football field. They got a 225-pound running back. Let's see what we do here. Look at this D-line go to work. Uh, great stop right here by those guys, man. Look at that. Great way to come in here, fill it, get behind the pad, push him back, man. Great job right there. Now, you will concede them later, convert that deal. But anyhow, here goes a field goal try. And it actually gets blocked. A lot of people thought, including myself, and the commentators thought he shanked it. But it actually got blocked right there by uh, Stoudemire, if I'm not mistaken, number 23. Actually, he blocks it, man. So great job for him. Big shout out to him. Third and 10, five minutes left in the fourth quarter in the game. You're still only up by seven. You can't take your foot off the gas yet. You got to convert this deal. And let's talk about it. Look what they're showing here. They're showing a lot of pressure. He's got to have a great pre-snap read. Remember, he's got to get to this yellow line. They hold up old line Takes off, but watch him flip those hips and deliver this ball, man. That's what I love about two's game. He could have tried to take off and run. He wouldn't have made it. But what I like is he finds the open guy, gives him a nice easy pass to catch, stay in bounds, convert that thing and move the chains. I'm telling you, if two is standing up, if two is standing up, you're going to have a problem. He can get surgical with it, Jake. All right, 50 seconds left in the fourth. Arizona at this point has tied the ball game. They got it score or get in field goal range. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Great pitch and catch. Great protection again. They give you a jet set, meaning real wide defense alignment so they can get into their pass rush. Boom. Great job right here. Throws it right over there. Look at the touch, man. Great job. Wish he could have kept his feet, but regardless. Let's talk about it. Kind of almost whiffed this right here on 69. But luckily, my man comes in here at the last second and saved the day. Uh, let me see what it's nine, right? Look at that. Comes in at the last second and saves the day because he could have hit uh, Shador's arm and caught a, caused a fumble. But hey, teamwork make the dream work, man. Great job. And here we go. 18 seconds left in the game. Fourth and three. Score is tied. 43-yard field goal. The coach Prime says, Monta told him, I don't miss, coach. We're going to find out. Let's go. Great kick right here. I will say great kick for him, but we got to do something about this line right here. It's too much penetration in here, guys. Too much penetration. Look at this. Guys are standing up, getting stood up. Got to do a better job in here, not getting so much penetration because the further back this ball is, the more he has to drive it. Okay? So we got to do a better job with that part, man. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> for the game winner, man. I'm loving it. Go ahead. Get your love, baby. Get your love, man. Great win right there. Right through the uprights. And that is the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right. Here we go. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. This is pretty much the opening drive right here, okay? Let's look at this. Crossing routes have been an issue. Different things have been an issue here for the Colorado defense. Well, here you go. See the shallow cross concepts. And there they go. Number two, Badger catches it underneath and makes some big, significant yardage to start the game off with. Again, another concept. What they're trying to do is motion this guy, right, to get you looking, see what's going on. Here's another crossing concept. Guys, these are the hardest things to cover. If you want to play man, you're going to be in trouble. And Kamani McLean kind of got baptized to college football on these crossing routes. Look at this con. I mean, this is the baddest dude on their team right here, number two, so far as wide receiver, and he's showing some wheels. Again, first and 19. So Colorado had them backed up. All right, still 0-0. Zero, zero. But look at, there go the crossing route, route again, man. It's not an easy concept. And remember, we're still within the first five minutes of this game. Look at it. Look at the concept here. He's going to clear out. He's going to come right up underneath this. There it is. It's tough. It's tough. You got to get them either by blitzing it or, or alerting people to the formation. I talked about this before. If you see this kind of formation, you got to kind of look for the underneath route. They're looking to clear it out. Look, it's so vacant over here. All right. 
And I told you, what do they do? Look at this. This is another thing people have to understand. When you play man, they use the running back to run the wheel route to draw all these people away from you. So now there goes the, there is the crosser. Got to get those fixed. Got to get those fixed. All right, here we are, third and eight for the Buffs. They got to be able to turn this deal over. Arizona has already scored. But look at the pressure all in his face, man. You know, it's hard to throw those balls. A lot of people thought that was P.I., but I'm looking at it right up in here. Look what they're showing. Look how much pressure they get right here. 55, I believe that is. I mean, Shadur got whacked on that throw. Got to be able to protect him, man. First and goal. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, guys. First and goal. Get behind your pads and drive this thing. Man, 87 whiffed on the block. Got back here in the backfield. It's almost like they weren't even prepared. Weren't even ready. First and goal. All right. Third and eight. As you see, Colorado has scored at this point. Has tied it up. Uh, seven to seven. Third and eight with 12-15 in the second. Now, the only reason I put this down uh, for bad, I get it as a screen. I guess it was a safe play. You may think about punting, but like you say, didn't even try to get the first. Yeah, it's a screen, but look how the Sun Devils convert on this ball and you end up having to punt this deal off anyway. First and 10, empty backfield. Ah, created pressure, but we left the gap for the quarterback to convert this deal. Let's look at it. All right, a little stunt. I'm not sure if Nine was stunting or not. And look, he started the stunt. He's like, nah, never mind. Comes back through, hold him in. But right here is where the problem is. Not getting to the football hurts you guys. Look at him back here. Boom, great job on the stunt. Now look at him. Come on, get him. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> Go baptize him, Bishop. Third and seven, 8.54. Score is still tied up here in the second quarter. Basically, empty backfield. Another crossing concept. Like I said, you got to be able to see these deals. Look how tight they are to the tackle. There's a reason. But look at the vacancy here. Look at the formation. They're putting a single guy here for a reason. Run him out of there. Who's left to cover? Nobody. Watch this. Going to come right up underneath this deal. Look at number seven. Easy play. And then he makes him make him miss on the tackle, makes him miss on the tackle, and converts that deal third and seven. If you tackle him back here, you might have been able to, you know, punt well, field goal at least. But nope. Bad tackling. What was that Shador? Yeah, I mean uh Shiloh. Come on, Shiloh. All right, 50 seconds left in the half, first and ten. Come on. Let's look at the situation. Look at the situation. Come on. Can't give this up, guys. It's a little half roll deal. No biggie. All right. So you know it's going to be a flood concept. They have to understand it. This linebacker right here has to understand it. He doesn't. He misses it. Let's talk about it. If you know there's a flood concept coming across, you got to be able to do what they call flipping fine. Here he is right here. He never looks back for that guy coming behind him. He feels it, but he doesn't find him. And too late. Throws the ball, end up moving that deal. All right, and they end up kicking the field goal, as you see, making it 17-14. Here's a huge play right here, and I want to talk about how, you know, typically you should defend this. Anytime you get a split backfield like this, all right, you can do right here with the linebackers what they call a cross read. So that means he will read him and he will read him. Why do you do that? Because they typically cross through this deal. If you watch your guy and you watch your guy, it becomes almost like a pick route within itself, okay? So watch, you're gonna see him come through here and he's gonna come right up underneath this deal. But watch this linebacker right here. He's gonna take off this way with his guy. See? Takes off with his guy, 25, and now he's off to the races, left him vacant, and the safety had to come up and make a play but they end up converting that deal. Fourth and, uh, I'm sorry, fourth quarter, first and 10. Here we go, big time throws, big time college football, right? Kamani McLean, welcome to the power five, baby, right? 
Let's go. Good solid technique. He has good technique. He doesn't squeeze him offline. He's running with him. And gets a big throw. Arizona State says, my number one better than your number one. How about that? Fourth and two. Great way to get off the field right now. Unfortunately, they give it a big 225-pound scatterboo. And they don't even get it. Doesn't even look like the defensive line is ready. Look at everybody standing up. Right? All right. Fourth quarter, 340. This is what this is going to be huge right here. Third and six. Right? Look at it. You, the game is not in hand. It's 24 to 17. Got to be able to move this deal. Let's look at the offense. Let's find I mean, the defense. Let's see what they're giving us. Great throw. I have to say that, man. Like I'm telling you, this dude, if he got a chance, his accuracy is ridiculous. Look how he threw, look at this. He threw this over four guys. I mean, basically a guy here, here, here. Now, unfortunately, the safety makes a great hit right there and he ends up dropping it. But let's look at the pass. I just put it bad because he dropped it. But golly, bro, look at the touch. You know how many guys won't throw that ball? Mm. All right, 238 in the fourth. Come on, guys. Come on. And again, we got a linebacker trying to cover. You got a linebacker out here. Let's look at the situation. It's 238 in the game. They're trying to score, and you end up putting the linebacker here on the slot guy. Doesn't have a chance. Doesn't have a chance. And, and not only that, he's the slot guy. He is their best wide receiver. Come on, we gotta have some recognition out here. You're not you how is number two uncovered? He is their best wide receiver. And we put the biggest dude on him. Amazing. Come on, man. You gotta be able to recognize these deals. Fourth and one. You can win this game right now. Let me see, Arizona still got two timeouts, but if you stop them right here, you definitely got a better chance of walking out of here with a seven-point lead, but hey, come on, guys. What are we doing up here? We're getting molly -whopped. And that's it for the bad. Now let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, here we go, man. First and goal, right? 10-27 in the first quarter. They give you this ugly uh, formation. And right now, they know you're outnumbered. I only got to go two yards, but here's the thing. It's not like an extra point or two-point conversion. This is first down. It's very creative. I have to be very honest. If it doesn't work, go back to your traditional. You still got three more downs to get it in. But it looks like Colorado is not prepared for it. So guess what they do? They line up here. They say, oh, it's only one guy? Well, if you go left, I'm going to go right. No problem. If you go right, I'm going to go left. I'll just punch my way through. Now, they thought it was a procedural uh, issue there, but they end up waving that flag. All right, here we go. Third and 20. Third and 20. They sending them dogs. And there we go, taking another sack. Let, let, let's pay attention to this. And I want to talk about, you got the tight end. And I've talked about protection keeping six guys in but golly guys you got to work together the tight end and tackle don't work together on this all right the tight end goes to block them but the tackle overtakes him and comes out wide I i'm not understanding make a wall out of this i got him here you stay here because if he goes too far to pocket you can seal in here but look they now they're working in opposite my man right here getting peter roll back here right here 70 it looks like 73 and should do out there running for his life or sack third and 11 and this is where Colorado's had some issues right third and long situations these dogs start to pin their ears back and let's go get them and that's exactly what they're doing they pin their ears back and let's go get them look right here on the inside no help whatsoever 65 I believe come on running back help him out I don't need you standing there looking around huh the Easter Bunny ain't coming Got, this is what we got to talk about. They're only bringing four. Let's start doubling some guy. Let's start helping. And he just collapsed down on two and it's over with. I think he's currently at 31 or 32 sacks right now. That's tough. 
All right, here we go. 735 in a second. Now, I put this down as ugly for the series because, I mean, come on, guy. We got to just block a little bit better than that. My man up here getting hemmed up. Three out there getting blocked. Might be a little bit of holding. I get it. But the tackling. You got to be able to tackle and get this guy down. There's no way in the world he should drive through there, Shiloh. Come on, baby. Third and goal. Get you a chance to get off the football field. Nope. I'm going to go straight ahead, coach. They stopped the initial, but the push is what gets them in. All right. Tie the ball game. I'm sorry. Put them up by seven. Excuse me. Second quarter, 606, third and 12. Look why these things are ugly. Look at the situation they're in. Look at the situation 12 is in. These dogs coming. They ready to hunt. Okay. And there we go. Another breakdown. Let's look at it. 73. Just walk back. Okay. And I don't know why 55 didn't help him. He started off to help him. There's my double team right here. Perfect. But he turns back for some reason like, no, nah, I'm good. And there it is. It's over. They run in the hoop right here on 70. Right here, 69 getting walked back. Look, 69 just getting walked back. Look how tight and how fast this pocket collapsed on them. These guys could barely get out their route, man. And they all over him, boy. Like bees on honey. All right, here we go. Got a long field goal here, third and 10. Right before the end of the third quarter. They kick this deal. Make it 17 to to uh, 14, right? All right, here we go. Third and 10, 549 left. Here we are, should do it again. Another third and long situation. Look at the dogs. I'm ready to pin my ears back. This is just ridiculous right here. I mean, come on, guys. We're not even helping the guy. But I will say this, and, and I'm going to start saying this. To Shador Sanders, you're playing phenomenal. But you have to do now what quarterback have to do. You have to start putting your body armor on. What do I mean? Man, I don't care if you tell them, hey, 69, you got 53. Six, uh, 55, you got 22. Whatever you got to do. But this right here is straight unacceptable, man. Right here. They're only bringing four guys. Four guys. And it's six people initially. And you don't have a chance. They're only bringing four. Unacceptable. By all stretch of the imagination. And the ball came out. Luckily, they got it back. But I don't know. I think they may have called him down. All right. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It is first and 10. Arizona State trying to tie this deal up. Empty set. I mean, look here. Big time throw right here, man. Start of my welcome to big time college football. They get the one-on-one -on -one isolation. They know the safety can't help. My dog bigger than your dog. Great adjustment to the ball, little back shoulder deal. And number nine is out there to make it happen, man. My goodness. And that is the ugly. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the good, bad, and ugly. I will say that the Colorado Buffaloes playing some tight games, but guess what? They keep pulling rabbits out their hat, and they are winning these deals, man. So with all that being said, they got to get ready for Stanford next week. And we'll be able to check them out. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as check out interstatesportsgifts.com. And make sure you subscribe, man. Be one of them because we're on the road to 37,000. And Coach Hazel catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.